Hello. Welcome to this video where we will see how plant substitution can be used, in advanced available to promise in S4 HANA. The views, information or opinions expressed, are solely those of the individuals involved. The goal of this video is to provide information, on the selected functionality and process. First off, let's examine the business benefits which can be achieved, by using location substitution when making customer promises. By setting up the rules, the advanced available to promise will be able to override source of supply, in order to maximize delivery precision. It will select those logistics points which are deemed relevant and perform substitution, according to the substitution rules. By delivering from a single plant, wherever possible, the number of touches in the supply chain will be kept at a minimum. A few keywords. The definition from Apex is, in logistics, the quantity of a finished good that is or will be available to commit to a customer order based on the customer's required ship date. To accommodate deliveries on future dates, ATP is usually time phased to include anticipated purchases or production receipts. A location is a fixed point on the supply chain where goods are handled. This can be, for example, warehouses, plants, supply sources, and markets. Location substitution is when we are exchanging which location in our supply chain network that we use in order to serve our customer. In our video, we are also using the term plant substitution. Let's discuss the concept. For location substitution, we have a substitution strategy. This strategy will influence the available to promise calculations made for customers. It has three settings, aside from selecting plant substitution. First we have the substitution item type, where we have three options. Force inline substitution means that the sales order will contain a single requirement item, where the plant will be substituted. Force subitem generation, means a subitem will be created for each material plant combination, which is used to fulfill the requirement. The originally requested requirement item is still visible in the sales order. Allow inline substitution and subitem generation makes the system choose the optimum solution based on stock availability in the potentially relevant delivering plants. If one plant can fulfill the requirement and inline substitution is possible, else subitems will be generated. Second, we see what alternative checks should be performed. Always mean that alternatives are determined every time availability is checked for all requirements. Depends on execution context means that you can set which processing status will allow checks for an alternative plant. Third, we set the alternative determination. Full underscore confirmation, aims to confirm the requested quantity fully. If this is not possible, no confirmation is generated. Max underscore earlier underscore confirmation, confirms the maximum possible quantity, while minimizing the maximum delay. On underscore time underscore confirmation, confirms only on the requested delivery date and for the maximum quantity possible, on the requested delivery date. Our scenario is the following. We have two plants. In our main plant, we have 20 pieces on stock. In our second plant, we have 100 pieces available. When running our first example, we get a sales order requirement of 110 pieces. In our second example, we see a sales order which needs 30 pieces. We are now starting with the demo section of this video. Let us first examine the substitution strategy setup. We do this in the configure substitution strategy app. For this demo, we will create a new substitution strategy. We name our strategy Z underscore ABC underscore jocks. For the sake of simplicity, and the fact that this is not a productive system, we give it the same description. As our substitution method, you can see that we have chosen plant substitution. Next we set the rule for how the system will determine how and when to make a substitution. There are three rules to select between. We will choose max underscore earlier underscore confirmation. As we recall, from the concept section, this means that the plant, which can confirm the maximum of the requested quantity is the valid alternative. Finally let's look at the substitution item type, which determines how advanced available to promise will manage the sales order schedule lines. We choose, for subitem generation. This means that the original item in the sales order stays, as a subitem will be created in the sales order for each material, plant combination, which will be used to fulfill the customer requirement. Finally, we save our substitution strategy. In order to set up our test case, we need to configure the alternative control, for the material number and plant combination, which we intend to test. We need to edit the data. As we intend to use the material number MZ, FG, E300, and customer USCU, CUS54, we change the substitution strategy to the one we just created, which is Z underscore ABC dash JOX. We then save our alternative base confirmation strategy. In order to be able to verify our results, when later on creating the sales order, we need to understand the stock situation. We do this with the Monitor Product Availability app. We enter our material number. We also enter the first plant, 
which is 1710. In the plant 1710, we can see that we have 20 pieces available of our material. Next we check the availability of our material, in plant US 10. In the plant US 10, we can see that we have 100 pieces available of our material. Our last step, is to create a sales order, for us to see what happens during the availability check. We do this by using the Manage Sales Order app. Next we select Create Sales Order. And then check Order Type, and Organizational Data, and choose Continue. The Customer Number is entered into the Sold to Party field, and the Customer Reference Number is also added. We add our Material Number, MZ, FG, E300. And we select the Quantity 110. As a reminder, Plant 1710 had 20 pieces, and Plant US 10 had 110 pieces. You see that 110 pieces have been confirmed. It is also possible to review the details behind the customer promise. In the details it becomes clear, which plant is sending what quantity, and the dates which the customer has been promised. Back, looking at the sales order, we can see that two new lines have been included in the sales order in order to keep the history from where we initially had the customer requirement, together with one line for the actual promise from each plant. Now we create another sales order, but with a different quantity. We enter the same customer number as the sold to party. We also add the customer reference number. MZ, FG, E300 is still the material we sell, and this time we are selling 30 pieces. The availability check has now changed delivering plant, as the original plant only had 20 pieces available, so that the customer will receive only one delivery from us. And similarly, you see two lines, one with original requirement, and one from the plant which will now deliver to the customer. The functionality shown in this video, regarding advanced available to promise, is available in S4 HANA, both cloud and on-premise versions, as a separate item. Let us complete this video, by repeating the benefits of using location substitution in advanced available to promise. By setting up the rules, the advanced available to promise will be able to override source of supply, in order to maximize delivery precision. It will select those logistics points which are deemed relevant and perform substitution, according to the substitution rules. By delivering from a single plant, wherever possible, the number of touches in the supply chain will be kept at a minimum. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this coming shortly. See you then.